Okay, so now we've got a sprint running. In video two, we're going to talk about the daily scrum. So we're going to go over how to use Jira daily as we're moving through a sprint, how you should be using this tool to help enable your team to meet their sprint commitment. We're going to talk about how to use a board and the burn down, and we're going to talk about how to know if sprint is on track or off track. So during a sprint, we want to use Jira, and we're going to try and use the tool to allow us to move sprint items through a workflow. You might remember our board with the columns on it to do in progress and done. We want to use Jira to make sure that we're on track, okay? Because if you know we're doing a two-week sprint, we want to know on day two whether or not we're on track or not and make adjustments in real time. We need to be able to generate data that we're going to need for reports at the end of the sprint. And Jira will do that for us automatically. We just need to follow some day-to-day -day process stuff in order to make that happen. And then we're going to facilitate the daily scrum ceremony and help the scrum master do a better job of, with their role. All right, so let's hop back over to Jira. And you'll remember in the last video, we created a sprint called FP Sprint 1, and we had our queue of ready work and the rest of the backlog. However, since that sprint just started, let's take a look at a sprint that's already running. All right, so let's hop over to our second project. You can see here we are in the middle of SP Sprint 1 right now. You can see these are the items that are contained within that sprint. Here's the ready sprint of items that are ready to go, and here's another couple stories that are in the backlog in priority order. Now, when we are in a sprint, we're going to want to look at the active sprints view, which is really our board view. All right, so imagine we're meeting in our daily scrum. We bring our team together. We would be able to go around the room and ask people the three questions that we would want to ask at a daily scrum, right? What impediments do I have that are keeping us from meeting our sprint commitment? Am I doing anything that will prevent our squad or other teams from meeting their sprint commitment? And are there any new to discover dependencies or any ways to resolve dependencies that we have found out since our last daily scrum? So those are really the three questions we'll want to talk about with the team. And as the people are talking about the answers to those questions and really talking about what impediments they're running into that will help keep them or will keep them from meeting their sprint commitments, we'll be updating the board in real time. They can do this prior to the meeting, but we can also do it too. Let's take a look at our interface here. So we've got a story, which is this SP3 story, and you can see we can expand or collapse that, and we're seeing a subtask that exists underneath it, right? So we might have stories, and we might also have stories with subtasks. Jira will display the smallest increment of work, and so you can see here it's actually showing us the subtask. Below that, you can see here other issues, and these other issues are all story level items without subtasks underneath them. You can see that really important story number three, or SP5, has already been completed and moved to done. So we're going to move this subtask over to the done column, and you'll see that when we do that, Jira will actually prompt us and it'll say, hey, all of the subtask items under SP3 are done. Do you want to go ahead and update the status of the SP3 item to done as well? And you can say, yes, I do. All right, so now SP3 is done along with the subtasks underneath it. All right, and this SP7 item, let's go ahead and move this to in progress because we did already start that one. All right, so now let's take a look at our burn down and get a sense for whether or not we are on or off track for this sprint. Okay, so we'll go to reports, we'll look at the burn down chart. All right, now let's take a look at how to read this burn down chart. You can see on the left, we have story points. On the bottom, we have time. All right, so what this shows is that at the beginning of the sprint, we had 11 story points. And you can see that as we go through time and we update, we have less story points. Every time we move one of those into the done column, that story's story points are decremented from the overall story points. And you can see here this gray line represents ideal. So at the beginning of the sprint, we had 11 story points. And at the end of the sprint, we're going to have zero story points because they'll all be done. Now what this story point or what this burn down tells us is that for SP1, when we're looking at story points, SP sprint one, we're actually ahead of schedule, right? You can see here we have burned down some of these story points and we're probably right around five at this point that remained for the sprint and so we're actually ahead of the ideal line and you'll want to walk through this with your team right you'll get really used to looking at these charts the burn down charts and you can say hey team looks like we're doing really well we're actually ahead of schedule 
there's a pretty good chance we're going to finish these items, in which case then we'll want to be pulling from the ready queue and adding more work. Okay, so that's how we run a daily scrum in Jira. In the next video, we're going to be talking about should we have smaller stories or tasks, or how should we organize our work to be most effective for our team.